Hey everyone, I've been asked multiple times, many, many times to do a TV station tutorial guide. So here I am, we're gonna do a TV station for Timmy's TV station for beginners. And the way I envision it is that I'm gonna do multiple videos. If this is gonna be successful and you wanna have the follow-ups, then we're gonna do it. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to go for like giving you an overview showing the hotspots, the dead zones, uh, talking about the spawns and, and stuff like that. And later in another video, we can focus more on loadout strategy and, and these type of things. So um, here you have the TV station map and we have two floors. Actually, there's a third floor in the staircase, but anyways, that's not considered as a full floor. From a spawn perspective, before I talk about spawns, why do many people think that this is very um, like uh, dangerous? I mean, the map itself, why is it hard? Well, the main reason is because the map is very small and the spawns are very near. Even at the beginning, you know, it can happen that you die in the first minute of the game because you have a spawn really close to you, you're running into the same direction, you meet and then somebody dies. So that's kind of the main reason. And the second reason why I think people consider it as hard is because you need to be better in understanding where the enemies are based on the sound prints. Because um, on a farm, for example, it's pretty obvious if you see a sound print, then you can, can kind of predict that the team or a player is coming from that direction. But here, you're going to have multiple sound prints basically all of the time because you don't just have the players, because, but you also have the bots. Sometimes you have the boss, they are respawning. So it's um, like, oh, yeah, I would say harder compared to a normal map. But let's let's talk about uh, spawns first. So I'm I'm going to mark this area because pretty much this is the area on the first floor where you don't have spawns. Other than that, you can spawn pretty much everywhere on the map. We have one here in the in the lobby area. We have parking lot. We have back here. I don't know. I don't know the name of this uh, room. Uh, we have spawn back here in the setup area you can spawn in the warehouse then also in the staircase mm, you can spawn inside this room and then you can also spawn here um mm, yeah i think i mean there, there are there are more spawns but here in the office area yeah you have something here you can spawn actually here below the library or reading room. Um, and I'm just marking these because I want to show you what usually happens at the end. We, we also have spawns on the second floor. So you can spawn here near to the general office. You can spawn here in the medical room, in the middle of the elevator corridor. Um, yeah, I, I think we don't have spawns here. But anyways, I'm going to use a different color to kind of show um, what I mean by having, um, you know, the danger of having spawns near to each other. So if somebody spawns here and there's another spawn here, let's assume we don't have anybody in the parking lot, then it can easily happen that this team decides to go second floor general office and is going to start moving like this, checking main, maybe you know, the warehouse area, and they start running towards this staircase, right? Maybe this spawn is going to say that I'm going to check the infirmary room and they're going to start running like this um, because here's the infirmary, this one. I mean, no, the whole area. And then as you can see, this can actually happen in the first 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Let me remove these. Another common thing is that if you spawn here and if there's another spawn here, then you can instantly hear them. Like right after the spawn, you can start hearing that there is some movement coming from this direction, uh, actually from both directions. Same applies to this one. So if you're spawning here and there's another uh, spawn up here, they start running towards the warehouse. You can instantly hear them. By the way, if you don't know the map here, we have some boxes so you can see them instantly. 
unless you jump, but you can definitely hear them. Another common thing is that uh, we have um, um, this spawn here in this room. I don't know the name of the room, but you have books and shelves and all kind of trash. And the other one is the staircase. So if you are running somewhere here, you can already hear the noises coming from the staircase and obviously they can also hear you. So I think I think with that we pretty much covered why it's it's important to understand like the the footprints, I mean the footsteps, the sound prints. Let's see what usually happens at the beginning of the game in the first five minutes. We have three free saves on the map, two of them on uh, the second floor and one of them on the first floor. I'm going to mark them. Let's use yellow. So this is one free save back here. In the general office, we have another one. And maybe the most popular one is the director's office down here. Um, it's not down, but anyways. These two, um, general and directors, are more popular compared to this one. Usually this is being picked up by a team um, which is spawning near this safe, but it's not like a primary um, focus. If I had to mark these zones, which are prim primary uh, focuses or the hot zones, let me use green, I would say that general office, no, let me mark it like this. This part of the general office, where we have to free save, medical room, no, so medical room and surrounding, on the first floor, warehouse area, and basically this area as a whole, and I'm going to talk about it soon. On the other side, um, there are some fights happening back here because we have a corridor back here. We have multiple rooms, but it's not like, uh, you know, a, a major, I mean, a zone where majority of the fights happen. Instead, I would mark this area here. So the recording studio, it's mainly, uh, I mean, the fights are mainly focusing on the second floor because, uh, Many of the players, when they start the map, try to get to the second floor. It's safer to be on the second floor because there are spaces, there are places, spaces, places where you can see the, the, the first floor if you are upstairs. And obviously having the high ground is just simply better. So this is, uh, I would say, the recording studio and the area, surrounding area is pretty much uh, like a, a hot zone or can be, could be considered as one. Sometimes the library... Not often, but the library is more used to be, I mean, it's, it's used to stay there to kind of understand if you have enemies in the directors or enemies coming from the recording studio. It's not where the actual fights happen. It obviously happens that there is somebody in library or in the reading room and other players try to attack that room and then you have fights. You can have fights everywhere, but it's not like a common thing to fight um, for the library itself. Uh, and then maybe I'm going to use another color again. Um, corridors. So this one, this elevator corridor, maybe the most popular corridor. Then we have this one here. And yeah, in parallel to that, we have another one. Um, and downstairs, mm, maybe this one, but actually this one, which I marked next to the staircase, this is not like a, a, an area where you're going to frequently meet players. So downstairs, I would say that, you know, if you check this path, you can run around the middle area and it's not going to be where the primary fights happen. So I'm going to remove that. But here, absolutely, um, in these corridors, yes. And also, uh, I would say, like this direction. Because if you have people coming from the staircase, uh, another spawn, another team camping in the recording studios, then it can happen that uh, you're going to have some fights here. But the, uh, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it, OK? But the primary, the majority of fights are going to happen um, in the green areas. And one last area I didn't mark is the director's office, manager's office, 
this is this is guys kind of the the let's say the main area of the map which would lead you to the assumption that you know if you split the map to the half then to in the bottom half of the map there's more fight happening and i think that's actually true because when i'm spawning near the top of the map or this area then i'm also trying to start moving towards general directors uh, or you know post production room which is this one here because we have a safe here that's the common thing people do so they either decide to go general office or director's office um it's not likely to happen that you visit these places and there's nobody there or there was nobody there before that's kind of the the the, the focus and director's office is the most popular because you have a, a, not just a free safe but you have also a chance to find a red item on the shelf because there's a shelf next to the free safe and this tiny thing here um in, is the room for which you need uh, the director's uh, key card um and in that you can have weapons and and you have an electric safe so that's kind of why these are the most popular um places and uh, before i talk about the usual paths and routes people do uh, let me highlight that whilst you may feel that this is overwhelming and you're gonna get into fights instantly let me tell you that or let me remind you that people say that there are tons of rats on tv station and it's yeah it's actually true there are always rats i mean i mean not all the time and you don't meet them all of the time but this these two statements are a bit contradictory so you even though you have spawns near to you you can actually avoid getting into fights otherwise we wouldn't have campers and rats there are endless corners many many rooms on the map you can basically hide anywhere and people are not going to find you so you can decide not to fight and this is going to be my recommendation by the way but uh, first um, i mean not to fight at the beginning but i'm going to get back to that in a second first i want to cover the like the roots and then um yeah then then we're going to talk about the strategy but just on a high level because i don't want this video to be super long so regardless of where you spawn um the main like the main goal would be to get to the second floor because we have general office and director's office on the second floor you can decide to use uh this staircase if you're if you are near it's not heavily used you know i wouldn't say that this is the primary uh point where people go upstairs because on the second uh, floor if you arrive here it's pretty tough because if you come from here you can have enemies coming from the right you can actually smoke the right hand side and then run outside but even if you run to the left uh you can have you know people have here you can have people in the general office already and then there's a third one so it's so it's pretty tough to use this uh, stairs another one which is like more uh safe is the warehouse area this one here this safe or safe this stair uh staircase or stairs mm, you can you can actually use this door uh to get to the warehouse area and then get to the stairs and the other path would be that you use this door and then you, you go this way so there are multiple ways where you can um get to these stairs but be cautious because there might be somebody lurking here or somebody uh like you know watching the the angles and here in this room you have windows so you, you can shoot uh through the window and basically you can see what's happening here on the corridor and obviously also from the corridor you can see what's happening in the warehouse area so this is at the beginning of the game this is a heavily uh crowded area because this this stair leads you to the second floor this one here um and from from this stair it's pretty uh, not this one sorry sorry this one sorry 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 this one leads to the middle area so this stair again so this here is this one you come upstairs and there's just one door and then when you get out of that, that door yeah yes you still have two directions but uh usually people are not not staying here um because it's too close to the middle area 
and middle area. I, I'm going to touch base on that as well. But anyways, um, this is the second. The third one is th this staircase. You can use that. It's pretty, you know, sometimes you're going to find players, but it's pretty safe to use that. Um, the third one you can use is this one here. If you are having a, a spawn near to this, this one or, or, or the other one, you can use this one. And there's another stair here. And these are the entrances. So this is where you're going to end up. You're going to be on this corridor. And there's one more stair um, down here, um, which, gonna, which is going to bring you to this place um, near the manager's office. So going back to the spawns for a second and routes and paths. So basically what people do, if you are spawning in this area, then most likely you're going to take the warehouse or the staircase, this one near to the lobby. The lobby spawn is usually running straight to this stair, getting to the uh, manager's office. So basically this is what you need to keep in mind when you start the game and you can decide not to, um, you know, fight at the beginning. You can, you can wait for five minutes, just looting and hanging around, uh, to kind of understand, but TV station, generally it's going to be always true that fights happen early game. Many of the fights happen all early game. Um, and you, you can decide actually if you want to join those fights or not. Um, middle area. I wanted to talk about the middle area. Middle area is is cool because you have two free saves. Uh, I'm gonna mark them with uh, with yellow. This one here and this one here, and there's an additional uh, locked room here. But at the beginning of the game, nobody's going to the middle area because it's crowded with bots, and also there's a point where it's flooded with the gas. So. It, you can actually, um, if you want to try that strategy, put on a gas mask and, and run straight to the middle area because at the beginning, usually people are not uh, monitoring the middle area, but it's, it's risky. Anyways, the middle area um, is going to be looted by the team or by the person who is the last man standing, okay? Uh, just follow that strategy at the beginning, avoid the middle area, don't run there. Um, except if you are sure that there's nobody else on the map, then it's like, you know, the, the treasure, the, the reward you get at the end, because after everybody died, uh, you can get the free saves. You have drawers, you have suitcase and all kind of, uh, good stuff, but <clears throat> you know, throughout the game, try to avoid that people are usually not going to that area. I saw some teams trying to quickly open the two saves, but usually they die because you have you have at least 10 bots here and also bots start shooting from uh, upstairs so it's 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 not the best strategy one more thing i wanted to cover quickly in this video and then i'm going to end this is the extraction you have three uh, ways to extract um and before before i talk about that so strategy i pretty much covered it by telling you, you know, what to do at the beginning, but in terms of strategy, um, I really need to do like a more detailed video if you want to talk about, you know, the actual areas and how to approach them. Um, but extractions, you have three of them, um, the lobby area here, this one, there's a switch. You need to flip the switch and then this is the area where you can extract. However, if you flip the switch, then the whole you know, lobby is going to be notified and you're going to need one minute, 60 seconds to extract, at least on lockdown on forbidden. I think it's even more like 90 seconds, or something. Uh, it's dangerous because, because everything is just near. So if there is somebody in the director's office, general, um, they can easily jump down. It's, it's very close. Even if they are in the warehouse area, um, they can quickly run to that area, um, and, and, and try to um, extract, kill you. The only thing that, I mean, if somebody is up here in the staircase, then most likely they're not going to start running, but you know, you can run through the map within one minute. So it can actually happen. That's, I would only use that, or I usually use that if I'm confident that there's not more than one team on the map. I think it, it's not my personal favorite. The second um, extract is here on the second floor corridor. This can be only used once. The lobby can be used multiple times. This one can be used once. You need to call the elevator and then um, wait a couple of seconds until the elevator arrives. Then you need to go into the elevator and be inside the elevator, um, I don't know, 
five, six seconds before the timer ends because the, the doors uh, close and uh, you know you, you want to be inside if you want to extract. Uh, this is dangerous because you know it's it's like let's say out in the open. You, you can you can easily get you know hunted from this side or from this side so if you uh, decide to take the elevator then definitely make sure you have smokes you need to smoke at least one side uh, and then you can kind of um, hold an angle on the other side but it's pretty easy to nade you so this is I, I killed multiple people within the elevator or near the elevator um, and the third extract is uh, next to the warehouse so here this is the extraction area and in order to activate that there's a switch here in the staircase um, which you can enable uh, 10 minutes after the raid starts. What I usually do is that if I'm on the top area of the map and I can see on the timer that we are close to 25 minutes then I enable it but I don't extract. I just enable it, you need to enable it once and it never closes again. And then whenever I want to extract, then I, I, I can do so. Um, yeah, I think regarding extracts, before I end this, um, people use it to bait you, okay? Elevator, it can happen that they enable it, but they don't want to extract, they just enable it so that you go to that area and they can hunt you down. Same for the main entrance, it can happen that it's being activated, you jump down, you want to look around where the enemy is, well, they might be hiding in a corner. And same for the warehouse, it's not easy to extract here, not that easy, because you can have players here, you can, you know, watch the... Uh, extract here and also from the second floor there is a, a small um you know i don't know what it's called like you know a place where you can see the the extraction so three areas um and i think this is this, that, that's it for the high level overview i i hope i could give you a bit of insight on how it feels to play the station and Again, if this is going to have some, some success and people are interested, then we can have two additional videos, one focusing more on loadouts and, um, you know, what works, what doesn't work, what setup works, which are the best phones, um, which are the best saves, which are the best keys to buy and so on. And then in the other one, we can purely focus on strategy like different ways of playing the map because there's not just one single way of playing the map you can camp you can rush you can push you can hide you can be solo you can be in a team basically everything works but you need to like apply everything you learned about the game to tv station because tv station is different compared to other maps it, it is valley farm northridge yeah, we have maybe more snipers on Northridge compared to farm, but still it's pretty much the same because you have multiple locations and you need to travel from one to another. On TV station, that's not the case because it's one single location, pretty much like uh, Armory Bunker. Anyways, give me feedback if you enjoyed this, if you learned something, if you have any questions regarding TV station, um, and if you want to have a follow-up. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Shoot, let's subscribe. Bye.